Can we begin by creating our land? Where terrain where we're going to place our house first and also for some plants. For this we'll go create a normal high field terrain. And on high field terrain we'll go in inner settings size and we'll go to set probably about 100 meters by 100 meters. And let's set height maybe about 5 meters for now. So we'll modify this as we're going but this has given us good startup point. Let's take our camera and move slightly out in the side, probably around this area. This is our uh, basic kind of terrain and we'll maybe reposition a little bit more after. So before we're going to next step, we want to import our model. And uh, when you purchase the pack, you will have it special models and all other bonus items. And they're already prepared. So what I was meaning by prepare, they're already preset textures and it's a PBR new type textures. So right here, we'll just drag and drop our house. And you can do this same way, or you can go from file and go to import objects, same thing. So let's look on our house that we just put it in. If we look on our size, you can see it's 11 meters, 12 meters and height 11 meters. So this is a right size house. It's scaled properly for us. And because it's scaled properly, we'll base it to rest um, on this house size. Uh, one thing what I want to do is bring a little bit, probably maybe just closer, like around there to the, our camera. Let's a little bit rotate because I want to show this size, the chimney, but I also want to entrance going uh, from left to right. So when I create composition, also we look on where to position our house. So it will have an overall theme in our scenery. And again, because I'm placing house, I don't want this house to place away. I don't want this scenery cut on the side and make a road going away it will be look a little bit not inviting so instead we'll rotate house and we'll be sure that our house entrance with the uh, steps and everything will going from left to right at least bring this inside scenery again if i putting to the right side i probably will rotate this way same way just to bring scenery but i found out the other side of the house a little bit more interesting looking for kind of these details so i want to display this side a little bit more so we'll place it this house on a, um, our terrain and this is um, position to the camera we'll maybe change we'll adjust position our camera later for now we'll just leave it here you know what let's just bring a little bit up even more and we can look on our house position How high and it's about five meters so we can even bring maybe about six meters the reason why I'm bringing up because I want to add water and I don't want water be too close so this way I have the room for my terrain to model inside okay now our house is open let's op click and just verify our materials and you notice right here we have a PBR material selected and this is set for all of ours and these materials are actually very nice because they will very naturally look all based on images so if you want it you can change modify those images that come with the model so you can adjust as you need it just let you know so they all image based and there was um design when created model for you okay so right here well because this material already preset we don't need to tweak this much uh, with them however if you're interested we'll have additional tutorials where you can see how you can add or replace some of those materials just to be sure let's take our main camera for now and i will come to the house a little bit closer just to render the house itself so i want to see how it will look come right here let's go a little bit closer 
repositioning. Okay, also I want to open my main camera and one before we begin, I want to be sure this after exposure check off. As well, I want to take natural film response and set to no exposure filter. So I want to have a straight out render without any modification. And I want to keep it this during all our render because sometimes the find with after exposure camera can draw uh, lighting can go up and down and it's very hard to tweak with lighting in my case so we'll go click ok here uh, one more thing so i want to go to atmosphere editor and i want to switch from photometric if you have an atmosphere default set to this to the standard spectrum okay this way it will provide for us a little bit more saturated colors and it's again, it's what I want to have it in my image, a little bit more saturations, a little bit more paint. Okay, so let's go ahead, open render presets, final. We render to the screen, 800, we'll click OK. And let's click render. This time we can preview, we have just a house render. And I just want to be sure all my textures is look correct. And it does, it's texture will look right. We have it even in Windows Element, so I think this is nice uh, start for us. So next, we're going to start modeling our terrain. And um, okay, let's take our camera, move slightly back, maybe like this position. So at this point, what I want to do it is create some elements um, around the house. Actually, you know what? Let's bring camera just a little bit up. And I want a level a little bit more. So almost what is happening, if you look, we draw a straight line, it's go through the window, and it's approximately where the human will be stay. So we'll level this approximately on a human eye level. Give me kind of a look right here. So let's give it a little bit more structure. Also, I did this way. So our walls won't have it any problems like falling in or out because we change angles so they look straight. And that's what I want to do, just simple straight walls and eye level look. Okay, so we preset this camera. Next, what I'm going to do, let's open our editor for the terrain and we'll just right click. I'm going to add object, edit object. So now we're inside terrain editor. If we look, inside it's very hard to see what we need to do we need to go ahead and enable show entire scene so if we click on this in this case you can see we have it our camera and most important we have it our house and we can now start modeling and preset all the terrains in a way we want it so let's do this in our next tutorial